Hello there. I'm Carl Barkmeyer, a drug charge defense attorney in Louisiana. My firm practices primarily criminal defense in Louisiana. We have offices located in Baton Rouge and in Covington. We represent clients with drug charges pretty much anywhere in Louisiana. So let's talk about drug possession with intent to distribute. In Louisiana, the prosecutor must prove that you knowingly and intentionally possessed illegal drugs with the intent to distribute. He does not have to prove that you intended to sell the product for money, just that you intended to distribute it to somebody else. The prosecutor does this by offering facts that together could prove this. First, he must prove that you possess the drugs. Possession can be either actual or constructive. Actual possession is when the drugs are found on the person of the offender, such as in his pocket, cigarette box, shoe, etc. Constructive possession is when the drugs are found in his bag, in the trunk, or in his closet. There's also joint possession, which is when two or more people are alleged to be in possession of the same drug. For instance, let's say an eight ball of cocaine is found in the console of a vehicle with a driver and a passenger. Unless there's some good proof that it only belonged to one person, generally the officers may arrest both for joint possession. The next element of the charge that the prosecutor must prove is that you intended to distribute the drugs. So circumstantial evidence is often used to prove this. For instance, the presence of a large amount of drugs, empty baggies, cash, guns, and scales, as well as individually packed drugs, can be evidence of possession with intent to distribute. Many times officers will get confessions as well. These are important facts to look at in determining the strength of the prosecutor's case. We have quite a few ways to defend these cases. First of all, we always test the state's case to see if the police officers violated your constitutional rights by performing illegal search and seizure. We have many creative ways of defending drug cases so we can get the best result. So if you or someone you know has a drug charge in Louisiana, feel free to give me a call. I'll be happy to help.